Can Republicans learn to fight the Federal Reserve? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Ask Republicans what to do about inflation, and they'll reply, cut spending. Some will add, we should also cut taxes and regulations so the economy can produce more products and services, thereby lessening pressure on prices. All of the good, but they usually omit the role of the Federal Reserve, and this is a dangerous oversight. Republicans need to understand the assumptions that underlie the Fed's operations, or else they could be blindsided by central bank errors and get the blame for them. President Biden has already said if Republicans win Congress, inflation will get worse. Now, this is typical Biden blarney, but the GOP had better be ready to fight back. When it comes to inflation, here are some key concepts Republicans, and indeed everybody, need to wrap their heads around. Inflation happens when Washington undermines the value of the dollar, usually by creating too many of them. Supply exceeds demand. This is what happened in the 1970s, the early 2000s, and again just before and during the COVID lockdowns. For a variety of reasons, the best barometer is the price of gold. Now here we get to something that goes against conventional wisdom these days. The dollar price of gold has fallen, telling us that the global demand for the greenback is now exceeding availability. People are getting rid of their yen, euros, pounds, and yuans because they trust them even less than the dollar. Federal Reserve officials and other policymakers are oblivious to the financial firestorm that is in the offing as the dollar surges and other currencies collapse. Another axiom, recessions don't cure inflation, stable currencies do. Hard times will bring prices down, but inflation will come back if the dollar is undermined afterwards. This happened repeatedly in the 1970s. During the 1990s, by contrast, countries recently liberated from communism, such as Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, and Bulgaria, suffered hyperinflation. In response, they rigidly tied their currencies to the then German mark. Their inflations ended quickly. There's no need for the Fed to depress the economy and boost unemployment. That will guarantee an unnecessarily awful global downturn. But expect the president to point the finger at the GOP when it resists Biden's likely call for more stimulus spending to fight that downturn. The Fed and other central banks shouldn't be manipulating interest rates. The idea that a small group of people in Washington can guide an economy as vast as ours is preposterous and does more harm than good. The economy is big enough to take care of itself. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh,